Robin. Go away. You're being childish. I'm being childish? Look, will you just open the door so we can go home? How many times do I have to say it? Your home is not my home anymore, a.k.a. we don't live together. I bailed you out. Well, then go get a refund. Just open the door. What are you even doing here anyway? You weren't even my phone call. Robin, you didn't make a phone call. Don't get technical. Okay, open the door. We need to go home. You need to sleep this off. We don't need to do anything. I never want to see your face ever again. How can I convince you that I want us to live together? You can't because you don't. Did I reorder the sofa? Yes or no? Did I buy matching furniture? Did I agree to go shop for knickknacks? But it lasted for one day! Okay, yes, I went to Vegas, but it doesn't mean I don't want you to move in with me. <gasps> Did you and Pete relive the, the glory days? Did you find out that you were the man you always were? I should have stayed home with you. Well, it's a little late for that, isn't it? Okay, look, it was an adolescent moment. I don't know what I was trying to do. Prove something to Pete, to my father, I'm not sure, but... Yeah, but you used me to do it! Not to mention all those poor strippers who are just trying to make a buy, feed their kids, and get themselves through college. You're the only woman I want. Oh. I beat out all the strippers in Vegas? Thank you! I'm so honored! Robin, I love you, okay? What do you want me to do? You want me to climb up on a desk? Do whatever you want. You want me to shout from the roof? What do you want? I don't care! You've already made a fool out of yourself. Patrick? Patrick? All right, you're not in the building on police business. Now you have to leave. Let go of me. Listen up, everybody. I have an announcement. Now you're going to make me arrest you, aren't you? You want to arrest me? Go ahead. Put me in a cell with her. That's Well, that's that would be cruel and unusual punishment, wouldn't it? Pay attention, everybody. I have something to say about that's this. That's enough. Would you please tell him to get out? Leave me alone? Yeah, tell her she needs to come home with me. No, it is not our home anymore. You proved that when you went to Vegas. It is our Let's home. Meet. It this is, is a home. police no, department, not. not a couple's counseling center. Look, man, I'm just trying to get her home. Well, give up now because it's not going to happen. You need to go somewhere and sleep off what's left of that bender. That's all I'm trying to do. I'll go to the loft. Obviously, lady didn't tell you they're turning your room into an office. Fine. I'll go to your house until I can find some other place to go. Look, if you were in, in danger or broke or had no place else to go, uh, you know, I'd never turn you away. You're saying no? You and Patrick need to work this out, Robin. I see. This is like a guy thing. You're siding with him because you're a guy. That's not what I'm doing. No, that's exactly what you're doing. That's because you know, No, no, no. No, that's fine. Because I've lived most of my life on my own, and I will just continue to do so. Thanks. Robin, wait. Robin, wait a minute. Hey. You and I... We need to have a chat. Excuse me. Hi, uh, can I have a monthly rate if possible? I plan to be here for a while. Okay, the road trip to Vegas with an old college buddy was obviously a bad mistake. But it doesn't mean that I don't want to live with her and that I don't love her. Can you understand why Robin is so upset? Yes, of course. I was ready to kill you myself until I heard you yelling about how much you cared about Robin. I can't believe I got roped in this stupid trip. Look, it was an old promise that my buddy from college, Pete Marquez, and I made. Pete Marquez? From PCU? You know him. He's an English professor. I think George is doing some research for him. Look, Pete is a great teacher. But he's determined to drag me back into arrested adolescence. The fact that I'm committing myself to Robin's got him pushing the panic button. He loved Vegas. And although we went to the best casinos, the best strip clubs, and saw some great-looking women the whole time, I was, don't push it. I love Robin. And I didn't mean to hurt her. I don't blame her for being mad at me. But the truth is... I hated every single minute I was in Vegas. I was already back in Port Charles when I talked to you, and you told me that she was in trouble. Yeah, well, that probably scares Robin most of all. Why? Sit down. Listen, uh... Robin, 
Robin's lost too many people, starting with her parents. I mean, she acts as if she's fine with the choices they've made. But the fact is, Robin thought they were dead. And then she found out that they just left her behind. I was there. I saw what it cost her. And then there was Stone. And then Jason, he was never a good idea. Robin is hidden behind her career. Her intellect, her talent as a doctor, and for good reason. It's difficult for Robin to let her guard down and trust anyone. She'll never admit it, but she's terrified of being left behind. Which is exactly what I did. Robin is probably looking for an excuse to bail, and boy, you gave her a dandy one. Can I fix this? Yeah. I don't want... You need to listen. Why, because you shoved your way in here? So not only do you carouse in Vegas with strippers, but you're also a bully. Matt told me to be tenacious as a pit bull. Excuse me, but when did you and my Uncle Matt become such great buddies? He wants you to be happy. So he told me what's really going on. Oh, so it'd be good. Okay, so you worked through your survivor's guilt. You worked through the doctor who only sees the dark side phase. You started to let yourself fall in love with me. And then this whole furniture fiasco puts you over the edge. I see. You kept all your focus on my shortcomings. You're terrified. But you took a risk. Loving me. Trusting me. But you're afraid that I'm going to leave. So you're preparing for the worst. Protecting yourself by expecting me to screw up. And you proved my point, didn't you? I thought about you every minute that I was there. While well, you were staring at naked women. Um, I didn't see... admit that you loved Las Vegas, that it was great to relive the glory days. You know what? You're right. It was great. I knew it! Yeah, I lost count of all the clubs. Not to mention all the strippers. I mean, lucky Pete and I have a little scoring system. Oh, yeah. Who could keep count? Mm -hmm. You know what? But you won, Robin. Like I told you. Right? That's what you want to hear, isn't it? Patrick Drake group is just like the good old days. You know what? Just get, get out! You don't want me to tell you that I love you. That I want to spend every day with you, in the same apartment, on the same couch. Yeah, because you're lying! You only believe the bad stuff. That's all you do. It doesn't matter that I made a mistake, that I said sorry, that I might have grew up a little bit. Because you're going to have to let down your guard. You're going to have to believe me. No, it's easier to criticize me, to lock me out of a hotel door, to run away, to throw pillows at me. Yes, it is! You're terrified. I am not your parents. I'm not Jason. I'm not Stone. The only one that's going to keep us from being together is you. 